down, tumbling down. Ba 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 ba. How's it going, everybody? Good to see you, everybody. That's even your real name, you son of a bitch. Hi, it's me, Jesse, and I'm here to say hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Um, yeah. Hi, everybody. It's good to see you. Hope you're ready for some more, you know, Yakuza 3 Remastered. And if you're not, then maybe be prepared for some Yakuza 3 Remastered. We gotta go and save all the beans from the beep beeper beepers. Like a true Yakuza would, you know? Why can't I be a shitty Yakuza? Why can't I go around and want to massage women, apparently, you know? When do I get to be the shitty Yakuza and not the, you know, shining hero and armor and all that? When do I get to be the bad guy? I'm the, I'm the bad guy. It's just no fair. No fair. Well, here we are. Out of the way, bitch. Out of the way, B bitch. Dude, it's Club Sega. Oh my god, that's so bad. You can't even walk up in between the little fucking thing. Whatever. I'm not even phased, bro. I'm not even phased. Okay, I'm out. Bye. Well, anything else up on the map? Yeah, yeah, what? The fuck am I? Yeah, that's cool. Can I, like,. Oh, there we go. It was that button. Wow. Wowee, it was that button. Okay. Apparently, there's two little things down over here. Two little side objectives that, if done, could reward me with sw quite a bit of goody goody points and such. It would truly be good for me. What do you want from me, you fucking punk? You not see I just came over here? I'm gonna beat your ass. Fuck you, you stupid little bitch. See ya, uh, young man. You're not gonna use that on me. I don't think so, son. I'm like a wild cougar. How did you win against all of us? Uh. Fuzzy shard of tempered glass. Send the fuzzy shard of tempered glass away. I don't even craft anymore, bro. Brother. Not gonna happen, so drop it already. Second club would ramp up business. Let's see what's happening in Stardust. Alright, Kazuki-san. But... I do hope you consider a second club. It's not gonna happen. My mind is made up on this. Heh, <laughs> don't need to be so stubborn. I'll be back later. There he goes. Oh, Hiro-san, what's going on? Not much. But who was he? Has one of the families been paying you a visit? No, that was Kyogoku-san. He's a businessman in charge of all kinds of host and hostess venues. Lately, he's been trying to get us to open another branch of Stardust. Second club, huh? That sure would be something. Hey. Indeed. Stardust's name has really taken off, so he wants us to expand to another region. Or where was he thinking that would be? Yokohama. He thinks it would be a good way to avoid the tight competition in Tokyo and plant some new roots. 
Kyogoku-san's group doesn't have a club with any star power in Yokohama. That's why he's offering me capital to really promote the Stardust name there. Let's see. But I have absolutely no desire for a second club. What I have here is more than enough. Okay. Is that it? Hey, Kiro-san, did you want to talk to Kazuki-san about something? Actually, I just dropped in to say hello. Gotcha, hope you don't mind, but I've got some poor business to deal with right now. Think we could chat some other time? No problem, sorry to interrupt. Tell to me straight, EG. Just what is it you're getting at? Saying you have to open up a second club to keep the Stardust image hot. Now or never, you your son. Kazuki-san could stay in here, stay here in Kamarucho, and you could be the owner of a second club in Yokohama. It'd be great for everybody. Mm. I'm the manager here. What would happen to this club without me? <laughs> We're sure Kazuki-san can handle it. I'm telling you, man, you gotta break away from Kazuki-san and be your own man. Don't you think it's time by now? That's enough, EG. You might not know since you haven't been here long. But what Kazuki-san says is what goes. He says we're not opening a second club, so that's the end of this discussion. But we can continue the dis <coughs> this discussion some other time. You need to get back to work. <sighs> Sorry about that. Kyogaku's got everybody all worked up about the opening a second club. It's understandable. Expanding the business like that would be a big change. You got that right, but we've got enough to worry about just trying to keep this place on top. Anyway, please make yourself at home, Kurosan. Still have some work to take care of, so sorry about that. Wow. Wowee. Wowee. This place is epic. This place is nice. <gasps> How about you, sir? He loves to give you a five-star treatment. Why can't I? It's a host club where there's some be there's supposed to be some nice little pretty boys. I don't want to fucking hear it. Get the hell out of here. What was that? It sounded like it came from the alley. Ibuki, you bastard. If you ever poke your nose where it doesn't belong again, it'll be the last thing you ever do. Enough of this. Doing this to me isn't going to change anything. Shit your yap. Oh, shit. This is your last warning. Don't ever show your face around here again. Oh, no. Hey, you alright? Sir? Yeah. Thanks for stopping. You're hurt. Do you need help? Don't worry, it's nothing. Wait, are you Kirusan? You know me? I used to be a member of the Dojima family. My name is Ibuki. Ibuki? Sorry, I but I don't remember you. Back then I was just a flunky, so it's not surprising you don't remember me. Alright? Sorry. I don't remember. No, it's fine. It was over 10 years ago. God. Hey, you don't look so good. Can't just leave you here. Um, make sure you get home safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the fuck is this? Like... <laughs> There's fucking handcuffs. On the bars. What the fuck is this? Where am I? What is this place? To be a restaurant I ran for the Yakuza. Call it Kamarucho Castle. Hasn't been a restaurant for a long time now though. Now it serves as the headquarters for the Honest Living Association, the HLA, and the representative. Honest Living Association? What's that all about? The HLA is an organization that helps former Yakuza members get out of the business and start making an honest living. We do things like help them find work, give them low interest loans if they need them, things like that. 
I see. At first, we used my house for the HLA headquarters, but a lot of our members needed a place to stay too. So we converted my restaurant into our dormitory and headquarters. The castle dungeon look comes from the theming of the original restaurant. HLA members say it kind of looks like prison, so it helps keep them on the straight and narrow. I guess it's been a contributing factor in rehabilitating our members back into normal society. Interesting. Never knew a place like this existed. Yes, sir. We've tried to keep it under wraps, so I'd guess mo so I'd guess most Tojo clan members have never heard of it. Who founded the HLA? Kashawagi-san. What? Kashawagi-san? Hard for people who leave the Yakuza to make their way out. Try to earn an honest living in the outside world. Kashawagi-san knew this and saw how much these guys were suffering. That's why he set up the HLA. He was a well-respected man who always took good care of his men. So even former Yakuza members came to him with their problems. It all tell him that leaving the business was fine, uh, but that trying to make it in normal society was next to impossible. Yeah, know what kind of guy Kashawagi-san was. Train lent them a sympathetic ear. To Kashawagi-san, they were still members of his family, even though they'd already left the Yakuza. Kashawagi-san founded the HLA as an organization that could provide these people with the support they needed. Is that right? Recently, as the Tojo clan was becoming more turbulent, Kashawagi-san turned over the management of the HLA to me. He asked me to watch over our members until they could support themselves through honest work. Now that Kashawagi-san is no longer with us, it's my duty to fulfill his dying wish. Yeah, I can understand that. But now the HLA is facing a serious problem. That guy from be before, you mean? Yeah. He's a former member who got help from us once. But somebody's given him orders to hurt the members of the HLA and the Tojo clan. <sighs> Why would someone do that? Not just him. More and more former Yakuza's are carrying out these kinds of attacks. They call themselves the Reapers, and they're obviously got an axe to grind. But all these so-called Reapers used to work for the Yakuza as hitmen. Hitmen. So we're talking professional killers here. Right. What we've been able to gather so far is that somebody is organizing former Yakuza hitmen to get some kind of revenge. I think they want to wipe out the HLA. Well, not necessarily, seeing as they've also been harassing active members of the Tojo clan. The HLA is going to have to do something about this. We can't just lie down and take it. Is there anyone in the HLA who could take out these hitmen? Unfortunately, no. Seeing as our members are former Yakuza who are trying to avoid that sort of thing. Right. In any case, you just need someone to find these hitmen, catch them, and round them all up, right? What are you implying? If I went after those guys, you could focus on helping your HLA members turn their lives around. That's pretty accurate, right? Well, yes, but I couldn't ask something like that of you. I myself left the Yakuza to live an honest life. I know how rough it can be. And I hope I now and I know how important it is for you to honor Kashawagi-san's dying wish. I'll do anything I can to help. Kuru-san, you really do this for us? Got a lot of things going on right now, but I'll definitely help out whenever I get the chance. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. However, can I thank you for doing this? Save it for when it's all over. So what exactly do you need me to do? Let me think. The HLA is using all its resources right now to collect information on these Reapers. Whenever it's convenient for you, please stop by and I'll give you all the info we've gathered gathered on one of the hitmen. Then, if you manage to find and capture that hitman, give me a call and we'll take it from there. Alright. These men will be formidable opponents. You'd better... You're better off going after them only one at a time. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. For every hitman you successfully capture, the HLA will offer you a reward. I'm afraid it won't be much. 
I'm not doing this for money. But it wouldn't be right if we didn't catch... Didn't at least cover your expenses, please, we insist. Alright, I suppose I will need to spend some time and money getting ready to take them down. I'll accept your reward. I ask you one more thing. What is it? These Reapers aren't just causing trouble for us here in Tokyo. They've been popping up all over the country, carrying out attacks on other Tojo-affiliated families. At this stage, I'm afraid we don't have the resources to do much outside of Kamarucho. But I seem to recall you saying you live in Okinawa? That's right. If we get any information on Hitman in Okinawa, do you think you could head south and handle them too? Sure, no problem. Don't know when I'll be back there next, but definitely keep me in the loop. Alright, I'll reach out to you whenever we find something. In any case, we can't shut these Reapers down for good until we find out who's behind all this. It's going to be difficult, but with you on our side, I know we can do this. Good luck. This restaurant looks shitty, bro. Kirisan, do you know the street musician named Hideki? He's this young guy who's always singing and playing his guitar in the front of Millennium Tower. He's pretty good, too. Because he's always there, you might be able to get some good information out of him. That'll help you track down your targets. Good work, Kirisan. What would you like to do? Viewer quest. This is all the Hitman information we've managed to gather. Atsu the Executioner. Consider your ticket. Fuck it done. Uses heavy blunt objects as weapons. The location cited at the east end of Ta Taihei Boulevard in Kumar Koma Orocho. Ah, I Oh, wait, take it. Thank you, Kirisan. We'll do everything in our power to assist you. Good luck. Time to go get fucked up. Gotta remember where this place is. Kamarucho Castle. Oh. Hello? Mosoji. Kurosan, it's Yuya. Sorry to trouble you, but. Wrong. Did something happen? Well, I need to talk to you in person. Can you meet me over at Bontom? It's right across from the Millennium Tower. On time it is, I'll be there. <laughs> On my way, you fucking freaks. Oh, that's where my target is. Maybe I'll pay a quick little visit to him. Or not. Since I, I guess I decided to go the wrong way. <laughs> like a big fucking idiot. What do you want from me, you fucking punk, bro? Bro, you're in my way, bro. You're making me fucked, bro. Yeah, no one cares. Go fuck yourself. It's a my boy. <laughs> then say to yourself, Dad, you son of a bitch. Did we it? Your face is great, man. <laughs> Lukewarm stamina X. There we go. Perfect. There we are. Truly good. Um, or so let's see what we'll be able to get next. Who's the power of throws? Enhance health gauge. I think we know which one we're gonna go for. Enhance heat gauge. Yeah. I don't know where Yuya is though. Oh, that guy needs water still. 
any uh, person at Stardust or something? Is it here or is it somewhere else? I don't remember who Yuya is. See, that's the issue with uh, Yakuza is that, you know, you're all like, oh, I, I remember the first people. And then you go into the second game and so it's like, oh, well, I, I don't really remember some of these people. And then, <laughs> now I'm in the third game it's like, what the fuck are all these people? Like Kashiwagi san, you know. I kind of understand who that is, but it's still like. Uh oh. Uh oh, me not understand all that much who that is. <laughs> Bap! You're the Joker now, baby! Sorry, give me a break. Apologetic old magazine. Just don't know what to do with that, man. Sorry. I just wanted to go into this store. When I close with cute girls, I'm sorry, but I'm not to feel familiar. Hostess, any place with cute girls is fine. Just watching super relaxing. Well, about that bar, Serena. Nakachi Street, the owner there is a total knockout. Serena, didn't that place close down after its owner was killed on account of some Yakuza trouble? Yeah, but recently got a new owner. They're calling it New Serena now. Really? I had no idea. Let's go see this knockout. Knockout, baby. Knockout. Hello, young man. Can carry more stuff. Great. Cool. Nice. <laughs> nice. I, I like that, you know. Real nice and fun. I love having uh having too much shit on me all the time. It's cool, it's fun, it's nice. It's epic, it's cool, it's fun, it's nice, it's epic. Wow. Wow. Use the item box. I'd love to go ahead and just pour a bunch of shit over there. Don't know why I have that, or this, or that, or this. And the rest is food. And uh, the rest is all food, though. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to fuck off and die. Sorry, sir! I don't speak stupid shit, bro! Maybe consider dying a bit, dumb bitch. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to use my heat special on you, you're a pathetic weakly. <laughs> Good night, son. Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. We're sorry, it was nothing personal. Yeah, 5,000. <laughs> and don't you forget it. God. My nose. My nose, it bleeds. Bleeds boogers. Bleeds sneeze power. Oh. Oh my god, fuck off. Just want to get the man some water, you stupid son of a bitch. Yeah, I'd be pretty scared too, son. Can't really blame you for this. This kind of reaction, you know? Good night, son. Man, 
Too easy. Radiant Platinum Nail. Great. Garbage. My favorite. God, I hope they take that out of Yakuza 4. Don't you want to craft weapons, brah? I don't even know what I just picked. What I pick? No. I don't want that. I'm here for some water. Mineral water. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, how about fuck off, man? I don't need your fucking garbage, bro. On my way, bitch. Sir, <laughs> sir, you're about to vomit. Give you some water. Here, drink this. <sighs> Ew, that's better. Thank you very much. You okay now? Oh. Yeah. I never drank that much alcohol before in my life. I thought I was gonna die. Man should know his limits. Oh. I suppose so. Sorry for the trouble. I had to take some clients out on the town for the night, you see. I'm still in my first year at the company, so I can't turn down a drink when our clients want to go another round. Why don't you just say, hey, waitress, um, blah, 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 and go pss, 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 pss. speak, speak softly and say, hey, I, please replace my drink with water or something, please. You're a new recruit, huh? But still, even in your situation, you gotta know when to put your foot ah. down. You're right. Sometimes I end up doing things. All because I don't know when to say no. Maybe that's why you're not higher up on the ladder. Yeah. You see? I mean, this isn't how it was supposed to be. I initially joined this construction firm I'm in because I wanted to design skyscrapers and other complex architecture work. But all I ever do is entertain these two big contractors who want us to build the same old boring apartments over and over and over. <sighs> day in and day out, it's nothing but bars and hostess clubs with a bunch of drunk old men. I'm starting to feel like I'm not cut out for this. Need more perseverance. When it comes to work, perseverance is key. <gasps> Tired of preserving. I've been putting up with so much crap, I can't take it any longer. Real man can stick it out to then. You just need to be able to discern when enough is enough. Mm. Making a lot of sense here. Alright then. We're supposed to be hosting a party at that club over there, so maybe I'll face the music like a man. Thanks for the pep talk. I'll go give it another shot. Huh? Alright on the map. I'm gonna go give him a try. I want to see what this very scary man is all about. Oh. Piss off. You're fucking in my way, mate. Mate, you're fucking pissing me off, mate. You're fucking pissing me off. Christ, you guys are in me way. You're in me way! Get the fuck up. Get the fuck down, bro. You're dead. You gotta deal with it. I eat no more. Here, leave me alone. Crusty 5000. It's been cooned upon. That's disgusting. Uh, yeah, boy. There we go. Hopefully, this little man over here isn't too difficult. I'm going to be wasting quite a bit of my goody goody oh. upon it. Dude, why you gotta fucking do this? I'm just trying to be a real Yakuza man, you know? 
You've been destroyed, you've been hit by, you've been killed by a smooth criminal. How should I lie about my phone's bill? Fragment platinum nail, wow. More shit I don't know how to craft with. Whoa. I don't even know where I would use it. The place I know is back in Okinawa. Hello, pretty lady, pretty lady, pretty lady. I've seen a strange homeless man dressed in white around here lately. He's always carrying around a bunch of weird smoking junk. It's really creepy. If you come anywhere near him, he asks for money. What a weirdo. I don't know what that means. Oh, shit. Get that key and then prepare to fight. That looks like Batsu the Hitman. What are you doing? It's your own damn fault for joining the Yakuza. Now it's time for you to pay the price. What the hell are you talking about? Hold it right there. That's enough. Who the hell are you? You're Batsu, the hitman, aren't you? If I am. Hey, I'll take care of this. Get out of here. Thank you. I'll never forget this. You in the biz too? Not anymore. Why? You'd kill me if I were? Yeah, that's right. The Yakuza have to be destroyed. It's extreme. What do you have against the Yakuza anyway? You side with them. Just as guilty as they are. You deserve to die too. It's like talking to it. talking isn't gonna get us anywhere. If for your sins, Yakuza scum. The Reapers. Oh no, he's got a big mighty boy hammer. Whoa. <laughs> what a scary man. Oh, fuck! I forgot to push space! Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man! I'm gonna kill you! Why would it ever be Q? Head press! Have to die, young man! Good night, sir. Oh, you're still alive. <laughs> okay, now you're dead. Goodbye. Death is what you deserve, sir. Goodbye. Ah! Finally coming to your senses? Never. I'll never forgive them. Never forgive them for what they did. What exactly is your problem? You were one of them once, weren't you? Yeah, that's right. When I was a kid, I joined the Yakuza. So what happened? It was a hitman for them. They ordered me to off key members of a rival family. Promised me a big reward and a high position in the family when pr prison time was over. 
spent 15 years dreaming of life after the slammer. I know how that feels. But when I finally got back to Kamarucho, the only thing waiting for me was an assassin to shut me up for good. During those 15 years, they called a truce with that rival family, and I, and I just reminded them of a past mistakes. I managed to escape with my life, but I'd lost everything. Ever since then, whenever I see someone in the Yakuza, I get pissed. Makes sense. That story of yours isn't exactly uncommon. What? Look, I understand where you're coming from. But what's no reason to... But that's no reason to go around attacking people who had nothing to do with what happened to you. Honest Living Association sent me to come find you. HLA? And talk this whole thing over with Ibuki and figure out what to do next. <laughs> Reward, Kirusan. I'll take you from here. Ibuki-san's waiting for you at headquarters. I'll accompany you there. Nice. Cool. Rework. I'm glad you're okay. Looks like Batsu is coming down right now. He's talking to HLA members in the back room. Leave him to us. Kurosan, well done. Here's your reward. We appreciate your hard work. Money. He's come again. We're really counting on you. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to view requests, sir. Boom, Batsu the Executioner done. Kotaru the Killer. Uh, uses unique weapons, quick to escape. Stay at the West Park in Kamarucho. I accept this hit. I've become a hitman of sorts. I have, I have become the hitman who hits the hitman. He who watches the hitman. Who watches the hitman? Get the hell out of here. I'm getting the hell out of this place. So let's see. Yeah, yeah. Number two. Increase my health gauge, baby. Nice. Stand up after being knocked down. Enhances health gain. I don't know why I wouldn't be upgrading my stats more often. What do you want, you fucking dumb piece of shit, stupid cunt? I'll fucking break you in two. You don't know who you're messing with, young man. Or a man. Not really young looking. God damn, you people are good blocky boys. Good night, son. Give big cone upon you. <laughs> the big cone, it hurts you. Pharaoh mustn't. If 3,000 or 5,000, I don't even know how much he gave me. There we go. We should probably go buy some of those before uh, we go to try and fight the next poison. We'll, hope, we'll have to hope that there's a shop on the way there, maybe. There's this man. Like my song? Well, I'm no expert, but I'd say it wasn't bad. Let's see, no matter how much I play here, nobody ever listens. I guess it doesn't really matter if anybody listens or not. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to complain. All right. I'm Hideki, by the way, a washed-up musician, as you can see. You are? <coughs> I'm Kiru. Kiru? Where have I heard that name before? Man, I guess Kiru is a pretty common name. You're the only Kiru-san who's ever stopped to hear me sing, though. Thanks for listening. 
can usually find me here. Come by and listen again sometime. Sure, if I get the chance. Try to keep you. See you around. I'm here for info, bro. What's going? Hey, I've heard some dangerous guys have been lately in the Waste Park. You know anything about that? West Park? Oh, that small park by Purgatory? That park's not the only place. Kamarucho is full of those dangerous types. You can probably pass from one. Anyway, you better be careful, especially at night. You're shitty at information, dude. Bruv, I just want to say... Pretty shitty at being an info breaker if you don't even know how to break info. Just saying, brother. Ancient steel. Block of brass. And finally, charisma ring. Now that last one seems pretty epic. Pretty, pretty epic. So let's go take a look. The ring gives the wearer some extra charm. But what does that mean? What's it mean? <laughs> Whatever, I don't even want the gauntlets. That was shit anyway. I would like to put uh, some stuff uh, in uh, here. Uh, thank you uh, for uh, doing this. Uh. Thanks, bro. Bye. Um, out of this place. Out of this place. Gotta go and get out of this place. I'm heading to the West Park to find this killer. Who hey. apparently uses exotic weapons. Fuck off, punk. I'll fucking kill you. I swear to God. Get the fuck out of here, man. Same with your little posse over here. Oh my god. Oh my fucking head. Oh and my everything. Help, oh, they're hurting me. <laughs> What's the matter, man, huh? Come on, why don't you get up, bro? Good night, son. Good night. Sorry, it's nothing personal. I'm here. Sorry. Exquisite 5,000. Thanks, dumb bitch. I'll take that and I'll leave you alone. I'm on my way to the West Park where everybody has a good time. Still all these fucking irate thugs in my way. Causing issues for me and my people. Fine. I want to be a team player, that's fine. Oh no, my baby back, baby, 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 Good night, man. Damn. Shouldn't wear white, bro. A C twenty thousand dollars. Time to go put it to use. By put it to use, I mean just walk up here and uh, you know. Beat the shit out of somebody. 
Hello, hello, sir. Hello, hello. Oh, uh, are you scared? If you don't want to die, then pay up. Have mercy. I didn't do anything to you. Sorry, but your luck ran out when you crossed my path. Pay up now if you want me to let you go. Must be the hitman Kotaru. Better put a stop to this before he gets out of hand. <clears throat> What's going on here? Huh? What do you want? You looking for trouble, old man? Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! Hey, come back here! Eh, son of a bitch. Anyway, whatever. Seeing as you crashed my party, I hope you're ready, dickhead. Ready for what? I'm a professional killer. Ain't nobody in the underworld who hasn't heard about me. Uh, actually, I've never heard of you. <laughs> you must be a civilian then. What are you? A chef or something? Sure are dressed like one. Does this look like a chef's uniform to you? I was, I was about to say, he doesn't look like a chef at all. Ha, well, whatever. But you got the part about me being a professional killer, right? Freaked out yet? Or I don't follow. Just give me your money if you're that scared. That way you at least make it out with your life intact. You're listening to what I'm saying? You're the Reaper Kotaru, right? What are you trying to accomplish here? What? How come you know my name? Did I even tell you my name? Dude, weren't you just like a few seconds ago being like, Oh, I, I, if you don't know me, you're stupid. No, you didn't. Then how do you know about me? Why are you talking like that now? You alright? Huh? I'm a killer. So I uh, was cough up some money. Give it up. You're coming with me. Ah! Uh, hold it. Peace, Kutaru. Come back here, young man. And he does run pretty dang fast, I must say. I don't even know what this is all about. Sure. Why not? I forgot how to catch him. I guess I gotta push E right behind him or something. Oh. Out of my way, you fucks! I got a killer to catch after all. what I'm trying to do. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> You son of a bitch! What is this, man? What even is this chase sequence, bro? I'm not gonna win. <laughs> I don't even know how to do these. Gorilla man coming right after you, bro. You son of a bitch! 
I'll fucking murder you, man! Oh no, I'm too exhausted. I don't know. Damn, I can't keep this up. Try again, I guess. Why not? I don't... I don't know what it's gonna do. Like some kind of speed boost or something I'm not seeing. I literally just have no idea on what to do. You fucking bitch! And here's the thing, that's not really a good plan either, to just do that, because, um... By the time I get around a second time to do that to him, it's already too late. Because the taxi car isn't here, so I can't rush into him. How the fuck am I supposed to catch up to him? This doesn't make any sense. Help me. Not enough of opportunities to kill this man. <gasps> what? That's not fair. That's not fair. He just fucking... He just died, bro. It's not fair. He runs pretty fucking fast, not gonna lie. That was weird, though. He got fucking stuck like a little bitch. I feel like there's some opportune moments to, like, hit him around a corner or something, but... Can't really tell all that much. Guy, he's fucking fast. Jesus. I want to be able to do something to him. But I can't. Maybe I'm just not supposed to do this yet or something. <laughs> you fucker! I'll kill you, motherfucker. I'll kill you. <laughs> I swear to God, if it's the last thing I do... I am the gorilla now. That actually seems to be working, so... I guess I'm just gonna be a monkey man. Yeah, I'ma just be a monkey man then, I guess. That seems to be the, uh... The, the only way to do this. Hurry, man. So I get like a speed when I do my jumping thing, but if I don't do it actively, then I lose that speed. Fucker! Out of my fucking way, people. Come on. <laughs> Fuck. Fine, I'm just a little monkey man. Come on after you, fucking Kotaru, you little bitch. Holy fuck, people, get out of my way. 
Get out of my way! Oh, cool. I, I appreciate that, bro. Cool, bro! You're in my fucking way! You're a fucking bitch, Kotaru. You're a fucking bitch, bro. It's everyday flow with being a bitch, bro. Oh no, I've been blocked by a uh, common. Oh wow, big block from a common. Okay, whatever, man. I don't care. I'll just keep doing it until I get it, bro. You'll never outrun me. Never. I'm gonna ruin your fucking life, dude. Whoops, sorry. Yeah, man. Damn it! I was trying. I was. I was hoping to get at least one more in. Fuck! How am I fucking way, people? <laughs> Fucking bitch, Kotaru, I will kill you, man. Why would a professional killer be running, bro? Kotaro, I told you I was gonna get your dumb ass. Now look at you. Why'd you run, bitch? Why? Why are you after me? Let's calm down. Come with me. <laughs> you cop or something. With the Honest Living Association. HLA? You mean that job placement center? More or less. Those guys? The hell do they want? I'm going after a group of hitmen called the Reapers. You're one of them, right? know this much. I can't very well let you take me in, now can I? Yeah, I guess that's how you'd see it. Damn. Guess there's only one thing to do then. Die, old man! Bro, you're gonna make me fucking run after you, and then also fight you? Unique weapon, he has a taser. Fucking kidding me, bro? You just, you just gonna like stab me, dude? Ow, oh, you fucker! Fuck off, Kotaru! Kotaru, you're literally ass, bro. Only pussies use tasers, excluding me, of course. You know. Holy shit. <laughs> fuck you, man. Get the fuck out of here. Man, I'm, I'm good, man. Nah, man, I'm good. I'm good, man. You can fuck off now. Oh, 
Sorry, man. Guess you missed your mark, huh? Unique weapons, aka taser. Aka doesn't know how to fight, has to use a taser. Fuck off! <laughs> Please, I hate you, man. God, Kotaro, you're a fucking asshole, man. And your weapon selection's garbage, bro! I just need to start dodging more. Cool! Cool camera, bro! Cool camera! Glad I didn't know where the fuck I was going for, like... A good minute. Okay, man. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck this life. What the fuck is this, Kotaru? What is this, man? bro you're literally ass literally ass dude you're literally ass you're literally ass kotaro you're fucked you're a fucking asshole, man. You're a dumb piece of shit. My god, Kotaro. You piss me so much. You piss me off so much, Kotaro. You're not a good you're not a good enemy! You're just bad, bro! Holy shit, he's stun locking me! God, do I love not being able to do anything in a fucking game forever. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me, Kotaru? You're a fucking dweeb, bro. Yeah, try again. Sure, why not? Now I know I have to play like a fucking dumb pu pussy bitch. <laughs> oh no, my gut. Fuck you. Cool, thanks. Thanks, Kotaru. Thanks. Oh, thanks. God, what a fun fight. Fuck you, man. 
What a, what a dodge. Fuck you, man, Kotaro. You're a bitch. I'm not. I'm not even fighting fair anymore. You're a fucking bitch, man. You don't even deserve. You don't deserve to be fought in fairly, dude. You use a fucking taser, dude. You're a fucking bitch. You're an absolute bitch, Kotaro. I think. I think you're scum of the earth, bro. <laughs> I think you're fucking scum, bro. Bruh, you're fucking scum! Fucker. <laughs> yeah, take that, huh? Take that, eh? Come on, man, strike at me. Weathered telephone directory. Oh my god! <laughs> it is not fun to fight, man. You're not. <laughs> Fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> man, why would they make it the Q button? Why? <laughs> Fuck you, Kotaru. Eat a dick. <laughs> I hope you fucking die, man. You suck. <sighs> Didn't think you'd be much of a fight, but if you got some decent moves. Hell yeah, my teacher was a hitman named Eason. Everyone knows he's basically a god. Why don't? Why do you put on this act and threaten people for pocket change? Can't stomach killing people. Wait, what? I was fine until I left my teacher and joined the family in Kamarucho. Whenever I tried to do my work, I got scared. I just couldn't go through with it. Family threw me out. I wound up with nowhere to go. But that's why you're doing pretty petty gigs like this now, huh? Yeah, anyway, it's whatever. I guess I'll let the HLA take me in. I hear they can find me work and stuff. Wait here. Great work, Kiru-san. I'll take it from here. Come on back to the company headquarters. I'll tell you what. Great work. I'm glad you're okay. Kotaru wants to rehabilitate back into society. For the time being, we can put him to work here in an, here as an assistant. But first, he's got a lot to learn about manners. Tucson, well done. Here's your reward. We appreciate your hard work. Thanks. Please come back again. We're counting on you. Whatever to make sure fucking psycho killers are doing good. Oh my god, there's fucking more people. Old Rags Hasutani does not carry any weapons. That's intimidating, to say the least. <laughs> God damn it. That's a little scary, to say the least. Doesn't carry weapons. Like, come on. That's an Avo Red Flago. Alright, time to go to the store to purchase some heat. Heat. Well, we'll, we'll fight these people another time. Come on, man. I just got out of a fight. You really don't want this, man. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you, bro. Yo! Don't you understand? I didn't want to do it. I didn't want this. Who needs to block when you can just 
Dodge and punch. Good night. You laid out, bitch. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Just give me the shovel toughness Z. Thanks. That him over there? A little bit spooky. A little bit weird. New Serena, baby. Hello. Can I get you anything, Kursan? Can you give me your shit to fuck up. Hello, Dante-san. Oh, Giro, feel like you've been gone for hours. You have trouble finding Connor or something? I was part of it, but also... Also what? Mama, you find if... You mind if a friend I brought for up from Okinawa stays here with me? They won't be around any longer than I am. Of course. Is this our um, special friend? Nah, uh, you gotta be talking about Haruka, right? No on both accounts. It's uh, actually the captain of Ryudo family. One of the biggest syndicates in Okinawa. <laughs> Definitely talking about a guy here, right? You go and hook yourself some big shot female Yakuza. Female Yakuza? What? Where are those at, huh, honey? His name's Rakia. He's still pretty much just the kid. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, he's especially welcome. We could use some young blood to freshen up the place. All I normally get in here is middle aged farts like Date san. Oh. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, just giving you a taste of your own medicine. That's what you get for calling me an old lady all the time. Well, I guess I deserve that. Anyway, you guys are welcome to stay in the back office so long as you don't cause any trouble in here. I mostly just use it for storage. Appreciate it, Mama. So where is this guy? I'll let him go explore Kamarucho a bit, see the sights. Come in here when he's done. Sounds like a damn tourist. So much for work ethic. Everything okay, Date-san? It doesn't sound like you're in a very good mood. Ah, it's nothing. Aniki. Hey, it's Rikia! Finally found you, Aniki. Or Aniki? Oh, would you believe... <laughs> I went in like five different bars before I ended up here. This city is a goddamn maze or something. Is your guy Kiro? Yep. Rikia, this is my friend Date-san. I couldn't tell you how many times he's helped me over the years. Well, this is Mama of the beer, of this bar. Miki's friend, huh? Pleasure meeting you. The name's Rikia Shimabukoro. <laughs> oh, someone has a lot of energy. <laughs> I try, ma'am. <laughs> Tate, please. Oh, the honor's all mine. Rikia, you finished looking around town? Mm. I mean, I guess, but... It's wrong. <sighs> Never found that bikini bar I was looking for. I really want to see what kind of heat a Tokyo, uh, heat a Tokyo one could bring too. Didn't realize it was that important yeah. to them. Anyway, Kiro, I'm ready to hear what went down with Kanda whenever you're ready to spill it. Let me know when it's time, okay? I want to really dig into the details here. Let me explain. In my <sighs> and wish I could have spent more time on the town. Never day you. Come sauntering up to Tokyo. Tour with Ricky, yeah. Yeah, you up for another tour? Oh, seriously, Aniki? Hey, you bet. I can't stand seeing you look so dejected. Wait, I'm ready to get rolling. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go to the titty bar. Bye, everybody. See ya. Now, I swear to God, I'm gonna walk him all the way over to the fucking titty bar. And he better be like, oh yeah, boy, time to do titty bar. And if he doesn't, I'm gonna fucking punch him. I'm gonna be quite disgruntled and upset. Yeah, see, there's a big question mark on it. They know what I'm doing. Whoop. 
Evening friends, what do you say to a bikini bar? We got babes, we got booze, we got everything a guy could need. Man, I've always wanted to check out one of these things. Check it out. Alright, let's take a look. Yes, you're the best, Aniki. For you too, right this way. This is how they do it here. Wild. Okay, this one's on me. Something to remember Tokyo by. Thanks, Araki. Why are you staring at him? Where'd the fucking pole go? Whoa! <laughs> what is this? Oh, baby! Whoa. Oh, yeah. Phew, she's smoking. Okay, Ricky. <laughs> that was great, Aniki. But I gotta say, I kind of did the girls down in Okinawa more. They're aggressive, domineering. That's the shit that really gets my gears turning. What are you talking about? We're practically drooling in there. <laughs> what can I say? I might have my preferences, but I still lose my mind when I s when there's a hot girl in front of me. Good night. See you next week. Psst, Aniki, that's the dancer. I can smell her perfume from here. God, I love Tokyo. Hey, sorry if this is kind of weird or whatever, but I love the show. You were great out there. Not surprising, knowing the town we're in. Bet you could even be on TV if you wanted. I really appreciate that. Maybe you could see me, come see me again if you liked it that much. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Natsumi. Natsumi, huh? Pretty name. Wait, don't I know you from somewhere? Natsumi, Natsumi, Natsumi. Oh yeah, Natsumi Uwasato. I remember you now. I'm Rikia, Rikia Shima, Shima Bukoro. I ring a bell? We sat next to each other in middle school, remember? Wait, you know her? She's an old friend, yeah. She's She disappeared after we graduated middle school, though. It's been, what, nine years now? Man, time flies. Hey, I know girls are supposed to change as they grow up, but... Holy shit, you're freaking gorgeous now. Who would have thought we'd end up bumping into each other like this all the way up here? Sorry, but I think you have the wrong person. Natsumi is just my stage name. Oh, ouch. Sorry. Guess I was getting a tiny bit carried away there. But I could have sworn I was right. That's totally fine. Anyway, um, I, I should be getting ready for my next dance. Thanks again for stopping by my show. Hehehehehe. <laughs> 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 Hibiscus no pendant. Shapori Wizard on Nazmi Janeka. She fucking lied, dude. Hora, Kurumitimino. What a mot daisin in motor the son of Hibiscus no pendant. Mukashi or no tangibly present to secretancia. Eh, so, so never Guzen or Nazimono Catanja. Son no geneo. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not actually wearing the thing. Pendants aren't really my style, but I always have it with me in my wallet. Never go anywhere without it. I. Come on, quit playing dumb. Tokyo didn't change you that much, did it? Deep down, we're still just two stupid kids from Okinawa, right? Well, actually, the truth is, I'm Natsumi's sister. My real name is Akeho. But I don't remember Natsumi having a sister. Shouldn't I have at least heard of you? Not necessarily. Natsumi and I are a few years apart. I went to school on the mainland, so we were kind of distant at the time. Oh, sure. She never even mentioned you. Really? Natsumi told me all about you. 
Imabokoro-san. What about that pendant? Why, why do you have it? Oh, Natsumi gave it to me. Huh? You just gave it away? People change, Rikia. You said it's been years since you've seen her, right? Maybe, but I hung in on to mine all this time, so I always assumed Natsumi would do the same. Guess I was wrong. Here, I'll walk you two out. Let me get my stuff. Got a scar on her right hand, though. Hey, I know this was kind of weird, Akiho-san, uh, but I had fun tonight. I'll be back for sure. Oh, and say hi to Natsumi for me, will ya? Of course, I'm sure she'll be surprised to hear I ran into you all. Into you of all people. What are you up to nowadays, anyways? Oh, I'm part of the Ryoto family, the Yakuza gig running downtown, remember? I'm actually their captain. Yakuza? I would never have pegged you for that kind of lifestyle, Rikia Khan. Well, there's a lot more to me than whatever Natsumi told you, I'm sure. Oh, and just call me Rikia, by the way. Here's my cell. Give me a line if you ever need help with something. You know, I might just do that. Well, let's get going, Aniki. Right. Oh, that's interesting. That's a, that's a pretty, you know, interesting thing. It's a good thing I took him over here. I thought it was just gonna be like, oh, oops, hold on, Aniki. Looks like I got a call. Come on, Ahiko-san. Of course, you can tell me anything. A stalker. Where are you? That bastard's going down. Mm-hmm. Be there in a flash. Sorry, Aniki. Think we can help her out? She's down by that famous ramen shop. Of course, let's go. What? Now I gotta go back? Wait. <clears throat> That's all right, oh. What do you want from me? I'm trying to do shit. Oh my god, leave me alone. Stupid fucking street dog. I'm gonna put you in your place, bitch. Never see me. Oh, man. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Good night, sweetheart. You go down easy. Damn, 5,000 yen. It's far enough, get away from me. But what about our wedding? We were gonna get married, Natsumi chan. Ooh, Natsumi chan. Earth keeping you waiting, Ahiko san. I'll handle this scumbo for you. I don't get it. I shower you with affection, give you gifts every day of the week, even keep your bank account in the green. This is what I get? I'm out of here. <laughs> Careful out here, Akiho san. Who knows what kind of nut jobs you might run into these days? You're right, and thanks. I don't think I'll run into any more trouble, but I'll give you another call if I do. Hmm. I called her Natsumi Chan, though. Oh, hey, another call. Wow. What's up, Ahiko san? More trouble? What? Another stalker? Where are you? Got it. I'll be right over. Sorry, blah, blah, blah. I guess I wouldn't mind. I'm gonna be sad if this turns out as like, you know, it's just some random woman who might have like, you know, who might have been like, oh no, I just bought this pendant at a store and all that. Bonk, bonk, see ya, bonk. Oops, sorry. Good night. Hey. God, that's a that's a pretty rotten freeze frame right there. 
Sorry, it's it's nothing personal. I'm here. Exquisite comfy souls. God damn, don't mind if I do, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Whoa. <gasps> I'm gonna go ahead and save. It'll be great. I'm going to save. Fantastic. Let's go help out this Ahiko-san. Ahiko-san, Atsumi-chan. Hibbity, 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 ba. There she is. Hello. Get away from me, you pervert. You gotta be kidding me. Not sue me. I gave up everything for you. My business, my life, everything. Hey, she told you to leave her alone. You got a problem? You can take it up with me. Drop 20 mil on your ass and this is what I get? Talking about cash you spent at the club, yeah? Well, that's between you and the club. Now get the hell out of her face. Kiyo-san, sorry about all that. No surprise that you've got creeps waiting for you down every street. Though especially here. Maybe you're just not cut out for the big city. But, how about you come back to Okinawa with me? Start fresh. Me and the rest of the Ryoto family will make sure nobody dares to even look at you the wrong way. Thank you, but I'll think about it. Anyway, I should be going. Hopefully our next meeting isn't under such awful circumstances. Oh, I'm sure it won't be. Aha. 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 Get it. Get it, man. I'm gonna call and say, hey, you know, there's a doctor. <gasps> Hold on. It's Ahiko. This is getting ridiculous. Oh, well, what's wrong? Huh? A scout this time. Got it. Be there in a flash. Think you can show me where Millennium Tower? I'm starting to lose my patience for this. I'm gonna have to agree. Wait, if she leaves, then what? <laughs> what dancer is gonna replace her? God damn it, dude. Shit, bro. There she be. There she is. I'm warning you, I've got a bodyguard. <laughs> don't be like that, babe. You need the pocket change, don't you? Well, I got the perfect gig in mind for you. Come on, man. Can't you see she's not interested? Let me show you what happens when you don't leave innocent girls alone. <laughs> that was your problem, dude. Keep pause out of other people's business. Oh, I'm out of here. Ran right into her. <laughs> Thanks for Kia. I don't know what I'd do without you. Been thinking the same thing. What's with all the trouble you keep running into a Kiho-san? Maybe Kamarucho's just too dangerous for you. I mean, yeah, it's dangerous, but now I have my knight in shining armor here to take care of me. It's really nice having you around, Kia. Well, I want to help, but... Anyway, I've got to run. Drop by the club again sometime, okay? I don't like this. Rikia, doesn't it sort of feel like she's using you? <laughs> Akio-san, using me? You've got to get your head checked, Aniki. She'd never do that. I mean, I'm from Okinawa. She's from Okinawa. We're just looking out for each other. You say so. You know, something doesn't seem quite right to me. I have a feeling she'll be in trouble again before long. Probably hasn't gone far. Now that I think about it, why don't we keep an eye on her and see what happens? Come on, we don't have to do that. Kyo san will ring me up if she's in trouble again. I don't know. Be such a droopy dragon, Aniki. Hey, the night's still young, right? We got plenty of sightseeing to do. Let's go. Go where, bro? Go where, bro? With the Disney Channel flow, bro. Oh. 
pay up already. Didn't your mama ever teach you to give stuff back when you borrow it, girly? But I thought I had it until next week. Mm. Technically, you do. But you and me both know you're not going to have it by then. So me and my boys thought we'd help you cover the difference. Ow. <laughs> oh, nothing too serious. Just three teensy little skin flicks ought to do the trick. We'll keep it nice and anonymous. Pinky promise. But... Hey, assholes. Get the hell away from my friend. Huh? Who the shit are you, Curly Q? <laughs> Ahiko's body. A Akiho's uh, son's bodyguard. I'm not gonna let you take advantage of her. But what, you wanna just clear her debt? Forget it. Ever happened? Sorry, pal. We're not leaving till we get our green back. How much does she owe you? Big old stack of the tune of five mil. What? But I only borrowed four million. Pfft, ever heard of interest, honey? Can't handle the rules. Don't play the game. No point following the rules when the game is rigged. Now get lost before I give you the old Rikia special. Big mistake, pal. Time to learn what happens when you don't mind your own fucking business. Why can't it be that music, huh? Just fucking Yakuza Kiwami 2 music. It's like I could could use a little bit of a tune up, you know? See ya, son. That's a double pull of blood right there. God damn. Damn it. We're still coming for that money. Just you wait. Sorry, Anaki. I didn't mean to get you wrapped up in all this. You've been borrowing money from a loan shark. Akaho. Don't you know what happens when you get involved with thugs like that? You just don't understand. It was only 300 grand to start. But before I knew it, my debt had ballooned to four million. Things have just gotten out of control. First they forced me to work at that bikini bar. Now they want me to film adult videos for them. Where does it stop? Akaho san. Sorry, Rikia. Should never have gotten you mixed up in my money problems. Just go, okay? I'll figure this out on my own. Hey, don't talk like that. I'm not going anywhere. Huh? Said I'd take care of you, right? What kind of guy would I be if I backed down when you were hurting the most? Kia, think about this for a second. I don't want to hear a Niki. Me and those loan sharks are going to have a little chat. See, my old man left me his fishing boat down in Okinawa. All I've got to do is sell that off and I'll have all the cash you need. Once your debt's paid off, we can finally go home. You'll be able to start over Akiho-san. Kia... Hey, that pendant looks <laughs> looks loads better on you when it's glistening in the Okinawa sun. So, promise you'll come back with me? I promise. Alright, now first things first. Tracking down those loan sharks. Be serious about this, Rukia. Look, Aniki. I appreciate you trying to help or whatever, but this is my problem now. So just stay out of it. Yeah? Oh, there he goes. Well, I should be getting back to the club. Not going to wait for Rikia. Putting his life on the line for you here. Crazy? Too dangerous for me just stand here around here. Besides, didn't Rikia tell you to stay out of this? Oh, well, bye. <laughs> Rikia, I better keep tabs on that girl. I have a feeling there's more to this than meets the eye. I can find her over by the bikini bar. <laughs> nothing like that I told you he's just my bodyguard <laughs> come on girl you me and every other bitch on the street knows you're using him hold on isn't that alcohol 
Seriously, Natsumi. I'm like so jealous. How do you get a brute like that doing your dirty work for you? Isn't it just the greatest? I was kind of shocked when he told me he was from Okinawa. But it turns out he's this guy Rikia I used to sit next to in middle school. He started going on and on about these old stories from when we were kids. Total snooze fest. Oh. But oh, get this. It turns out he's part of the Okinawa Yakuza. Not only that, but he's dumb as a rock. He'll believe any old sob story I tell him. What? Ha. Huh. Yeah. What was all of that fake name you gave him again? Akiho or something? Where'd you even come up with that? Besides, wouldn't most guys know if their best friend has a sister? Hey, get a clue, dude. You're really surprised? All those Yakuza thugs are all bronze and no brains. Natsumi needs a man like me who's got the whole package. Ain't that right, baby? Yeah, yeah, your whole package is the only thing you ever talk about. But I'll admit, I never would have come up with the plan on my own. It's thanks to you I'm going to be living debt-free. <laughs> That's what happens when you hang with a man of ideas, sweetheart. It was a real stroke of genius, conning that Yakuza fool into paying off your loan. What would you do without me? My bank account would have a few less zeros in it, that's for sure. Anyways, I'm finally done owing your club for all the drinks I bought, which means I can start spending money on you again. Hmm, that's why I love you. What's going on here? Dude, fuck off, man. Like, why? Why, Akiho? Or, Natsumi? Oh, um, Akiho. Or should I say Natsumi? Whichever it is, got some explaining to do. Come with me. It's not going anywhere, you old fuck. What gives you the right to just walk up and snag some other guy's girl? All I want to do is talk to her. But if you're looking for a fight, I'd be glad to oblige. Dude, you fuckers are stupid. I hate you both. I hate all the, all the people here. <laughs> fucking bitch. Fucking dumb bitch. I'm just gonna fucking slam you around a bit, bro. Fucking gorilla, bro. I go, ooh, ooh, ooh. And I fucking slam you against the ground repeatedly. Uh, Hiroto. Rikia was right all along. You really are Natsumi. Can you stop to think about how he feels in all this? What's it to you? He said he'd do whatever I wanted, so I'm taking him up on the offer. Besides, it's none of your business. Enough excuses. Come with me. Time you. It's time you see just how far Rikia is willing to go for you. Oh my god. Ha ha ha! shit beaten in. <laughs> Got some real coconuts coming here alone, kid. You're either out of your damn mind or you're the bravest little shit in town. Please, I'll do whatever it takes to pay off Natsumi's debt. I have the fishing boat down in Okinawa. That'll cover the cost. Just please give me some time to sell it. Natsumi, you mean the stripper who's always blowing her cash at host clubs? <laughs> you do all that just for a piece of ass, kid? You're crazier than I thought. Please, you'll get all five million, I promise. You're hurting my ears here, kid. How about we teach him a little lesson, boys? Hell <laughs> yeah, wow, woo. Kia. Look, Natsumi. These are the lengths he's willing to go for you. So when you trick him like this, you aren't just playing with his emotions. You're playing with his life. I... He's too earnest for his own good. When he says he'll risk his life for you, he means it. He would die if it meant keeping you safe. Both from Okinawa, and as far as he knows, your family to his closest childhood friend. That's why he chose to trust you. Instead of accepting him for who he is, you trade that trust. <coughs> Rikia, stop! Yeah, so me? What are you doing here? This is too dangerous for you. I'm, I'm so sorry, Rikia. Okay. Taking care of the money. You don't have to cry. <laughs> well, ain't that sweet. Now that you two are all nice and lovey-dovey, how about we get a little boy on girl action on Dave and we call the whole thing quits. Sick bastard. <gasps> what do you call me? You got a death wish punk? You came to the right guy. Kia, yeah. I'd be glad to lend a hand or two if you want to teach these thugs a lesson. Hoping you'd say that, Aniki. What the fuck are you two blabbing about? 
Sorry, but you just picked a fight with the wrong guy. I'm Rikia Shima Bokoru, captain of the Ryoto family. Once I'm through with you, you'll wish you'd never been born! <laughs> this is stupid. Oh, yeah, what's this fucking camera? My best life, bro. <laughs> See ya, man. Swoosh. I got bicycle that goes swoosh. Smoke Siggy. Rikia, I'm so sorry. I was lying to you the whole time. Using you to pay my debt off. Yeah, I know. And. Ed. Oh no. それも知ってたよ。俺がお前を間違えるわけないだろうが。リキよ。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ああ。もういいんだ。お前に東京は似合わねえよ。俺と一緒に沖縄に帰ろう。<笑><笑> みおまえの心配事は俺が何とかしてやる。だからもう沖縄に帰ろう。俺、キリュウの兄貴と一緒にこっちでやることがあるから、それが全て済んだら迎えに来るから。ああ、that's <笑><笑> oh, sweet. That's good. I like that. Mind if I dip out for a bit, Aniki? I want to make sure Natsumi gets back to the club safe and sound. Sure, go right ahead. What? Whatever. I'll care, bro. Aniki. Thanks for waiting, Aniki. Kia, when did you figure out that was really Natsumi? Oh, back when I first. I was first handing her the pendant. I noticed the scar on her right palm. Now you knew? That is true. Uh, I saw that. Yep, it's from back when we were kids. She cut her hand on a piece of coral. We were out swimming together. They bring her to the hospital and everything. I don't think I gotta tell you that those kind of scars don't really go away. When I saw it there on her hand, I instantly knew it was not Sumi. You're more perceptive than you look, Rikia. So how about a drink? I think we could both unwind a bit after all that. I'm down if you're down. Lead the way, Aniki. That was a good little story. I like that. That was cute. It was nice. I liked it a ton. That was nice. That was good. That was good. That was nice. Alright, now back to my story. My story, okay? Okay, Rikia, it's my story time now. <laughs> that guy, <laughs> that guy in the blue fucking sweater back there. He's like, he's all like, I'm out of here, man. Fuck this. <laughs> See ya!
swoosh. Boom. <laughs> See ya, man. Hasokawa, more like you're dead. Fuck all awa we all. Damn, that hurts. The hell is up with you, man? Look, I'm starting to just go, all right? Multi purpose something. Wow. Shut the fuck up, Rikia. I swear to God, man, you're pissing me off. I don't want to stomp upon you, but I will. I will crush you under my foot. You will die. You will have a awful time. Please. <laughs> Hello, hello, I am here. Hello, hello. I would like to order the goods. Yeah, I don't think they sell any kind of medicine here. Any of this good stuff. I'd have to go to the pharmacy place. Yeah, whatever, man. Leave me alone. Whatever, bro. Just... Just leave me alone, bro. Please. Anikia. Go back up to a new boo hoo boo. Who let me know you want to do the thing? All right, I will. I think I've had enough sightseeing. Not they saw him. Let's talk. Let's oh. talk. Great. So tell me what happened with Conda. Well. Whoa. That's cool. Are we going into a new chapter? Chapter 7, The Mad Dog. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> That's not so good. What got that? どうやら神田の組が四代目に勝ち込みかけられたらしい。それで組の上層部は壊滅状態。たった一人で神田とやり合うとはさすがだな。道島の龍の名は錆びついてねえようだ。Of <笑> <たった一人で神田とやり合うとはさすがだな。笑> <笑> course I do. I'm the dragon of Dojima, bro. どうやらキリュウさんは例の沖縄の一件で動いてるようだ。あんたがこの計画に乗ってるという情報を掴んでいるかもしれん。That's a big lighter. <laughs> God damn. そうなら次にキリュウが攻め込むのはあんたのところだ。沖縄のリゾート計画。あんたに紹介したのはこの俺だ。リゾート建設に関わる利権。あんたの組に入る金は千億は下らない。Why'd you light it up if you were just gonna put it out, bro? 今俺らの中で六代目を弾いた可能性が高いのは間違いなくあんたなんだぜ。マジマの兄さん。Oh my god, it's Bajima! Orakamuru Majiba, what happened to you, man? Ricky is all asleep. What a little boy. Damn, look at that. 
is my dad, my adopted father. うちの政治部のスクープです。ついに防衛大臣の民谷が民事党と沖縄県議会をまとめたようなんです。つまり、基地拡大法案の成立は確実ってことか。基地が動き出したことで、リゾートの開発も一緒に動き出したってわけだな
Sorry, but I'm afraid I can't afford to get caught. I won't go without a fight. No need to fight over this. We're just gathering information on the Reapers, and we want your help. Look, even I have my principles. Don't think I'd stoop that low. If you want me to go with you, you'll have to make me. Why, man? Why, bro? I'm gonna die. Fuck. Oh my god, he's got fiery little kicks, but he's a little shithead, so... It just doesn't really matter all that much. Oh, whoa! Calm down, man. Calm down. Oh, damn. Sorry, man. Not the personal man. Step it on you, man. I'm stepping on you. God damn, man. Ow! Stop, man. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, at least he's not using a taser, you know? Oh, fuck, man. I'm pretty sure there was, like, a lock-on button in this game, but I'm not too sure. the fuck out of here, Hatsune! Hasutani! <laughs> Fucking bitch. Whoa! See, I, I like this. He's he's a good little fight man, you know. Ow! Fuck! My guts. <laughs> fuck you, man. Oh shit! I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I fucking hate doing that, man. <laughs> the fucking finger. It's like all the time from that. Sorry, man. You're really cool. You're really epic for not being a little bitch. But you still gotta go down, man. Good night, son. Damn, you're good. Where you go now? Stop. Leave him alone. Huh? He said leave him alone. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm okay. See? Really? Really. You don't have to worry. I'm long home now, okay? Who's that kid? Just ran into each other one day. Not sure who he is or where he's from. I have kids myself, you know. Boy and a girl. I bet they're just about his size. What do you mean? You bet. Aren't you the <laughs> Aren't they your kids? My line of work can't be with them, no matter how much I want to be. A friend's taking care of them now. I'm bitter about that. I used to be in the Yakuza, but my boss blamed me for a mistake he made. Got kicked out of the family. Back then, there wasn't anything like the L HLA. I had a hard time trying to find a job. My wife died from overworking herself. Or hear that. I need money to feed my kids. This is the only kind of work I could find. 
want to make sure I can send money to them so I don't spend money on myself for clothes or weapons. It's the name Old Rags had Satami. Part of the reason I joined the Reapers was because I was angry about getting blamed for something I didn't do. Mostly it was because the Reapers took care of me financially. When your kids don't know it, you're in this line of work. No way I could tell them, but I need the money. If I have to get blood on my hands to feed my children, then so be it. What do you say? But what if you get caught? What? Keep this up and get arrested. What's going to happen to your kids? How would you be able to keep them from finding out? You're right, bud. Not too late. You can try and find an honest job again. HLA and Ibuki can definitely help you out now. Nothing's ever that easy. Things have changed since you were kicked out of your family. You think it's worth another try? I think you're right. I'll give it another shot. You've opened my eyes. Thank you. Free work, Kirusan. I'll take it from here. Ukisan's waiting for you in, at our headquarters. I'll accompany you there. Uh, yo, what up, Abuki? Great work. I'm glad you're okay. HL HLA will provide Hatsutani's children with financial assistance. I'd like to help him find some decent work and get him back to living with his children as soon as possible. Kirusan, well done. This is your reward. We appreciate your work. 80,000 yen! Please come again. I want to take up another job. Yeah, just in case. Mr. and Mrs. Odagari. Work as a duo, rumored to be armed with guns. Sighted at Mac Bowl in Kamarucho. Thank you, Kirisan. We'll do everything in our power to assist. Yeah, whatever. That last one was pretty easy. Just don't ever have me fight fucking Ketero or whatever the fuck his name is. Whoever that little dickhead is who uses a fucking taser 24-7 and never tries anything else like a little bitch. What do you want from me, man? Get the fuck away from me. I'm gonna punch your lights out. You've upset me. Now you must pay the price. Consider yourself dead on arrival. There you go, sir. I got a bike. No joke. Bike time. See ya, man. You're dead. Bye. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, Ugh! Oh, guess you were looking for a fight. Here, this is all I got. Top netch, eerie stuffed toy. Why would I want that, man? <laughs> it's just like Pokemon, if you think about it. Instead of like strategy, <laughs> you gotta be like doing all the fancy moves. You gotta beat them all up. Alright, well everyone, it's about the two hour mark, so I guess I'll end it there. Uh, thanks for tuning in everybody, it's been a grand old time. I hope everyone had a nice little watch and watch, but if not, I totally understand. Uh, anyways, I love y'all, toodaloo, and bye bye